what is up? I am in the passenger seat of my own car. I am on the way to the gym. I have my uh, Celsius pre-workout, all kinds of bear reaction. And it says burns body fat, which we know is bullshit. <laughs> Just like all these cryptos, we scale Bitcoin, we scale Ethereum, we saw the trilemma, guys. Marketing, look at that, burns body fat. We know for a fact if I drink this, I'm not gonna lose weight on the spot, okay? It's a bunch of bullshit, it's all marketing. Sorry for cursing, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to uh, poke fun at crypto for a little bit. So, I got asked, I couldn't answer the chat too much today on my live streams, and uh, my Discord too. I get asked from new members, people that are coming in, or people that wanna ship their portfolio around. Yo, John, what would you do if you had say 5k to invest 10k to invest uh what cryptos would you buy how do you gauge what to look for um so first off if you guys missed that one live stream where i show you how to research definitely check it out it gives you a lot of in-depth information i recommend watching that when you're doing i don't know cardio at the gym you're on a walk just put your airpods on it's an hour long you can watch it learn a lot um but to answer the question here so I'm a utility investor, right? I like finding cryptos. Typically, I try to find at least one hedge, especially because I'm more risk averse. Some of you may be different. Like for me, I live at home still. I don't have a you know family, like, like kids per se. I am out of school. I don't go to college. My living expenses are pretty minimal. I go to a cheap gym. I pay like 15 bucks a month. My food bill is not expensive. My car insurance is like a few hundred a month. My rent is a few hundred a month. Um, I live at home still, that's why. Um, phone bill. Like I track all my expenses, first of all, right? Um, so five, 10K to me versus to you could be totally different. If you got kids, if you got uh, rent, uh, mortgage payment, uh, maybe you're in school, you got tuition, all that stuff takes money, right? Obviously, it's, it's, it's all relative to you. But now, from the outside looking in, my first question to you is how risky do you wanna be? It's totally fine if you guys want to admit and say you want to be risky and say go into meme coins. I have a lot of members, surprisingly, on my Discord who like buying a lot of memes. Does it mean I am going to support that or say they're idiots? Like, listen, if you guys make money off any crypto, I'm going to give you props no matter what. I am going to show the crap out of your wins like I've been doing on Discord. Um, so really it comes down to you, right? You can make money in a crypto like Turbo, like Bonk, like Pepe, and you can also make money in cryptos like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Casper. So it's all relative. If you're making money, you're making money. Profits is winning. Winning is winning, right? The Vin Diesel meme, winning is winning. Um, so now if I had five to 10K to invest, I would pick one to two cryptos max. That's just my opinion, not financial advice. The reason I say that is because I think of the whole spreading yourself too thin, having too many eggs in one basket. I see when I do a lot of reviews, I used to do reviews in my elite tier before I closed that tier. Um, some people have so many picks, which is fine. I hold a lot of picks now too. However, you wanna have like your main bag portfolio where it's like five or 10 crypto that you're heavy into relatively. And then you can have a separate portfolio, whether it's your lottery meme coins or maybe it's low caps that you wanna put a one-time set it, forget it in there, see if it 100X is, 50X is, whatever. That's a pretty smart way to go about it. And that's where I'm okay with having more than 10 picks, 20 picks. Because in that case, you're diversified, you still are allocated properly in your main bags, but now you, now you have exposure to other asset classes and you have some money in there, especially into emerging marketplaces, which is micro cap crypto, you know, under 250 million market cap, or under a billion rather. So to get to that point though, when you're starting off or say you're scrapping whatever you have and you're, you're starting anew, one to two plays at, at most is good. Not just from a money standpoint, also a mindset, researching, energy, consumption standpoint. I know from experience, when I try to do too much at once in anything, whether it's going to the gym, trying to burn fat, build muscle, uh, some of you probably dating more than one girl at a time, or a girl dating more than one guy at a time, you're texting everybody on your phone. When you're doing too many things at once, it's very hard to give it your all. Usually you make errors, mistakes, in some cases regrets, if you guys are dating a lot, <laughs> you do what you want, but I'm just saying. Um, 
So the way I look at it, investing is no different, right? If you have 20 picks on your watch list and you think it's a smart idea to research them all at once, don't do it. <laughs> That's not a good way to do it. <laughs> Take it from me. I say it all the time. I'd rather know a lot about a little bit of crypto than know very little about every crypto, okay? That's why when you guys show me some cryptos on my live streams, which I am going to slow down, by the way. I can't do every single pick. I can only give you guys a first impression at best. And oftentimes, a lot of you aren't surprised, but some people are when I say, hey, I don't know that crypto. Never heard of it. Because I really did not hear about the majority of crypto. There's thousands of crypto out there in the market. So you gotta understand, like, a good chance when you guys come out with a pick, it's not just me, the majority of the people don't know what your pick is or what it's about. So that's why I teach you guys the skill sets to be self-educated confident investors that way you can still come to me for advice if you're in my group especially or even here watching i'll still help you out but at least you got a foundation of research to be successful i don't want you guys to be sheep investors where you're just depending on me and every single move you make from when you get up to when you eat breakfast to when you go to sleep is like hey john you still bullish on me getting eight hours of sleep <laughs> you know i know that's coming i know that comment's coming hey john should i go to sleep you bullish or bearish <laughs> i know this is gonna laugh at that one um but yes you want to be driving your own car and how ironic is that right i'm in the passion to see my own car but like I said, not what I'm doing, what I say. Drive your own car. You can ask for guidance. You can pivot 100%. I'll never say your question stupid. But what I am saying is this. Make sure you really know what you want. I put on Twitter, you know, if you want to be a millionaire, repost it. And what's the first thing you're going to do when you get there? Because part of success and chasing it is envisioning it first and then having that framework in your head of what it looks like what it's supposed to be and then making that realization come into your life so you can put those steps into tangible action physical action right it all starts with the belief right so now if you're researching crypto my general rule of thumb is go down that checklist that i put in that live stream video the tokenomics the team the tech the narrative the niche the competition you know everything everything take your time again one the two crypto max i would say one's better okay it's totally fine to put if you're starting out 5k 10k into one asset if you believe in it obviously i would never put it 5 10k into just a meme coin if that's my only play or just a low cap alone too much risk for me but for you it's entirely up to you right it's your money so you can say go after this guy who cares what crypto john says Again, I'm not your father, I'm not your brother, I'm just your friend, I'm not like a guy behind a camera that's trying to help you make some money. Helping you become financially free, which makes me very happy. Um, but this is just how I'm doing it. There's more than one ways to skin a cat per se. You can research many different picks at once, it's fine. You can buy many cryptos at once too, it's fine. It's just more stressful. It's more stressful, more time consuming, and it's more, it's harder to keep your t attention focused. You're more diverted, right? Just like I said, the examples, you're going to the gym, you're doing everything at once. You don't do cardio and lift weights. When you're dating, you want to date one person at a time, right? Otherwise you're going to be seen as cold, indifferent, or an a-hole. Um, when you're in school, you take one class at a time, right? I mean, unless you're in college, you're taking everything at once, but you're, you're doing, you're giving your energy to certain things, but you're, you're not at your best until you're focused on one thing. So that's my best advice to you, my honest, genuine, non-financial advice, is uh, just get really good. You know, learn the skill set of researching. You know, because again, this is your money, right? You, you should care about your money. You really should. Um, and a good way to increase that 5K, 10K, turn it into 100K or more, is one, to increase your active income, which I always say, at your job, start a side hustle, cut down expenses. Like, my brother got this, um, for free at his job he had a sample so we have a bunch of these and you know i'm not going to go out and spend a hundred dollars to get this you know um i do have some things like for this i have a beetroot powder but it's very cheap i got it on amazon it's good for your blood pressure so on and so forth so i'm not saying you have to live like a hermit you can't go to a gym you can't do this can't buy food just find ways to work around the expenses 
and make them non-luxurious. Like you don't have to buy $500 worth of food because it's organic. You could find ways to save. Um, going to a gym, you don't have to spend $300. You don't have to buy a personal trainer and hire them. You can just go online, find a workout plan, find a good playlist on your phone, listen to music and go there. Um, just like investing, it's all consistency, right? Like how I got good at researching and calling picks is not, I mean, some of it's luck. I'll be honest, some of it is luck and I have a great community, but um, a lot of it is trial and error. Actually, all of it is because in order to get to a good level in anything, you always start at the bottom. And for me, it was making mistakes, making bad trades, making bad pivots, but then making good pivots, good trades, getting better over time. So a lot of this really is a learning game that only experience can teach you. So my channel and my Discord is to help expedite that process but also give you the skill sets to not only have confidence to trust your research, trust your gut instincts, your intuition, but to come back next cycle and say, John, you not only helped me make money, but I took the knowledge you gave me and I multiplied even more. And that's why some of our picks too, like uh, Shapeshift Fox, I got from uh, someone on Twitter, um, um, Micah, I think his name is, Micah Bolas. I'll put his YouTube channel on here. I can pull him up. He brought it up to me and then I forgot about it and then my discord brought it up again i think it was mail in my discord and i was like great and my discord's getting very good at research and picks so some of the picks that i find it's not always from them you know it's from them or other youtubers as well we, you know we share picks sometimes like it is what it is right i don't have an ego i don't care if i call this pick first call this pick second it's all about getting in early to these plays having conviction you buy you hold you wait endure which means the weather in a storm and then you take profits when you see fit that's really the easiest most logical less stressful way to do it least stressful whatever you want to say um i hope i covered the majority of bases a 5 to 10k portfolio is a good starter pack but you have to increase it you can turn that into six figures sure definitely possible very possible actually someone on my discord just did that recently he said aerodrome alone was a six-figure call for him i'm so happy for him um but it takes work okay it takes a lot of work and like i always say it's not always about buying a crypto anyone can buy a crypto on autopilot it's not hard the hard part is holding holding not just through this but holding through this and holding through this the majority of people don't understand this hence why i always say emotional market hence why i emphasize how the mindset is everything hence why i teach the mindset a lot and re-emphasize the importance of it being the best person yourself it's very important and again this will carry over into other facets of your life you become a better investor you got better emotional control you have better discipline for the gym you feel less you know, more stable in a relationship you're communicating better you're eating better because you're taking yourself seriously you're doing better in your class because you know how to research and focus it all carries over it all carries over so yeah my best advice without rambling too long just take it one day at a time one or two crypto focus on it you can do more you can do less it's up to you and you can be as risky as you want to be or as risk averse as you want to be the main thing you should strive for is utility and go down the checklist that i taught in my video and then you should be good to go on finding a good job from there and by the way if you want to reach out to me talk to me see your crypto on buy and sell and trade next be a part of a private live stream we just did one today for discord in addition to the public one here if you want to be part of this support group who also want to change their life like many have already done then i encourage you guys to join patreon and discord i'll leave a link in the pinned comments down below it would be awesome to see there anyways now i want to hear from you what would you do right now if you had five to 10k to invest in which crypto or cryptos would it be drop your comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed this video please give a like it really helps so much that being said i hope you have a great day and i'll see you in the next one